Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving deep into the world of ranged weapons in 7 days to die. But we're not just looking at damage or mod. Today, we're exploring something a bit different. The noise and sound each of these weapons make. We are still focusing on stealth. In a game where stealth can be a key part of your strategy, knowing which weapon will keep you hidden and which might not is crucial. Today, I'll be testing out every ranged weapon, from bow to rocket launchers. And seeing how much noise they really make. And it's not just about the shooting noise. We're talking about reload noise, aiming noise, everything. So if you're ready to find out which weapons will help you stay under the radar, stick around. But hey, I know your time is valuable, and you might be a fellow BCB. So, here's a quick summary. I rank all ranged weapons from low to high in volume. Compare when equipped with a silencer mod, except for turret, rockets, bows, and crossbows that can't use that mod. The values are compared when shooting without any obstacle. Why that matter? I will explain later on if you decide to continue watching this video. If you're just here for that info, no worries. You don't have to watch the whole video, but if you want to see every noise comparison in detail, I really appreciate if you stuck around. Before we dive into the test, I want to give a big thank you to Damon TR for suggesting this video idea. I might have missed something in my previous stealth videos. I always appreciate your productive input. Thanks again, Damon. Now, let's see how I got this noise data. I tried digging into .xml file to update my cheat, but well, I'm no programmer and I wasn't sure if I will interpret the code right. So I decided to go into the game like a total noob and just test it for real. First, I create a new game just for this. Then I build a testing chamber to keep zombies out and make it dark enough for testing. Then I chop all the weapons from the creative menu. We're gonna test all of these cool stuff. I will be testing and recording all the values without any skills or armor to keep the data pure and free from bugs. Since this video focuses on stealth play, I will also be crouching. Even though crouching reduces firearm noise, but hey, if you're playing stealth, you'll be crouching anyway. So it makes sense to compare everything from that position. All these weapons are compared with a silencer mod equipped, except for turret, rockets, bows, and crossbow. After all, in stealth play, you usually want your gun to have a silencer to stay effective. The values I record show how each weapon affects the stealth bar in-game. First, I will measure the noise level from a normal shot, where the weapon is used without anything blocking the projectile. Next, we'll look into the noise from continuous shot. Because if you spamming shots, it increases noise. Then, we will explore the noise level of block or close range shots. You might not know this, but if your weapon hits something close, it actually makes more noise, which can ruin your stealth if you're not being careful. This is especially important in servers with feral sense on, as zombie is more sensitive to this factor. I will show you the noise level for close range shots and continuous close range shots, then wrap it up with the noise from reloading. Again, these values might not match what you see in .xml files, but they reflect what you see in game. When using a weapon, you might make multiple sounds that can combine into a different value. This is a real gameplay test, and I'll be recording and summarizing the data for you along the way. One more thing, I'll be deducting one from each noise value because I couldn't get my fresh spawn to have like a zero value on stealth bar in this setting. So we need to do a little bit of calculation. Now, let's start. The first weapon that I highly recommend for stealth play due to its quiet nature, the bow. Each normal shot only raised your stealth bar by 8 points. And this value remained consistent across all types of bows. Reloading your arrow doesn't make any noise either. However, if you spam shots, 
the noise value will gradually increase. Now, when shooting obstacles, I record two different values. Sometimes it's 23, all the time it's 50 as you can see. I couldn't distinguish why it's different, so I decided to include both values and record them separately. And lastly, the aiming sound. And here is the summary of the bow noise level. Before moving on to other weapons, I want to point out that aside from the bow, every weapon makes the same noise when aiming down the sight. The first time you aim, your stealth bar will increase by 9 points. But if you're spamming the action, the noise level will gradually increase until it max out at 19 points. After talking about aiming noise, now let's talk about other weapon. Next, the crossbow. A normal shot increased your stealth bar by 14 points, and this applies to both types of crossbows. The obstruct shot behaves like a bow, giving two possible values, so I record both of them. Next is a group of weapons, the pipe pistol, pipe shotgun, pipe rifle, and pistol. All of these produce the same noise value for a normal shot, but all the actions show a slight variation, which I will show in this clip. Aside from the bow and crossbow, the pistol is the best firearm for stealth due to its quietness and ease of use, especially compared to pie weapons when it's become less practical in the late game. Following the pistol, the hunting rifle is another excellent option for stealth because it's also very quiet. Next up is the sniper rifle. Despite what you might think, in this game, the sniper rifle isn't as loud as you expected. Let's check out the values. Now on to the next set of weapons, Magnum and Desert Vulture. Both have the same noise value, except they differ in their reloading sound.
Next, we have another group, the double barrel shotgun and the auto shotgun. Both produce the same noise values across all actions. The level action rifle is next. Its initial shot sound is not that loud, somewhere between the hunting rifle and sniper rifle. But the leveling sound afterwards significantly increased the noise level on your stealth bar. Moving on to the SMG5, this weapon was the reason I decided to test all of this. As the XML5 suggests, it should be quieter than the Magnum, but the result in game is different. Let's see the actual in game value for this gun. Next is the machine gun group, including the pipe machine gun, AK-47, and tactical assault rifle. They all share the same noise value for shots, but each has unique reloading noise level. Then we have the robotic turret. Even though it can't be equipped with a silencer, it's still not the loudest weapon on our list. And now Mr. Sneaky wanna join on test. Second to last is a group that include the pump shotgun and M60 machine gun. I group them together because their normal shots produce the same noise level, but all the noise they make is entirely different. Like the level action rifle, the pump shotgun's initial shot isn't too loud, but the racking sound that follows make it the third loudest weapon on our list. Oops, Miss Screamer has enough of this test run. <laughs> Last but not least, the rocket launcher.
Let's take a look at all the data combined. It's up to you to decide which gun fits your playstyle in this game. While I wouldn't suggest limiting yourself to just quiet weapon for stealth, they can be great for new stealth player. The quiet weapon will make stealth play easier. The bottom line is just play the way you want. That makes the game most fun for you. Keep in mind that the value we just saw can be affected if you equip armor with noise reduction or invest your point in from the shadow skill. The noise value might be reduced because of those effects. Lastly, remember that 7 days to die is still getting updated. So this data might not be accurate in the future if there's an update that changes things. That's about it for the sound value in this video. Feel free to drop your feedback and share your favorite weapons in the game, even if it's a melee weapon. I would love to hear what you're using. Before I go, I just want to say thank you for all the support. It's crazy to think that this little channel hit 1k subscribers. I never saw that coming. Honestly, I'm just a gamer that's sharing my fun and some cringy moments that I did with my friends. It's amazing to see many of you enjoying the content too. So thank you for being here and I hope I can keep delivering content you enjoy. Thanks again and see you in the next one. Bye bye.